know what I'm saying. Yo, what's good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy, Sneaker Life, for the one time. Uh, so, it's been a minute since I made a brand video, right? And the last one that I made went, did really well. And I see a lot of comments in the video saying, Damn, bro, you an asshole. You ain't really even helped me. I ain't going blah, blah, blah. Like, a lot of people were really mad and... I went back to watch it and I gave some like good advice. So I'm maybe I'm just confused, but I'm, I wanted to make a new video, kind of an update because obviously we're approaching the new year and everybody has their ideas that they don't want to apply. Like if you have an idea, just do it. That's like the, the best advice I can give you. And that's with anything, not just clothing. Uh, people want to know how to start, what are the tips, where are the sources, all that good stuff. And I completely understand we all start at like ground level and you kind of just, you learn. As you learn, you apply things, you win some, you lose some trial and error, right? That's any business, right, specifically. Hope you like the quality of this video. Like the new mic I got above me is stupid, it's fire. Uh, but anyway, let's get into some basics of starting a clothing brand. Uh, and you guys can, like I said, you can apply this to any other type of business that maybe you have in your head. Uh, I want to get into more business videos because I personally love business and, you know, I'm, I got my own side hustles every day. So I ain't got no regular nine to five. Like, this is my hustle. But starting a clothing brand, first and foremost, you need to think of a name, right? And you need to make sure that nobody has that name. And that is the hardest thing ever because to make a long story short, let's say you have this name that you really love and you start making clothing and it's fire you're selling it doing a great job you're putting a lot of money into it but another company actually has that specific name trademarked they can send you a cease and desist that means you need to shut everything down otherwise they will take everything from you and that's a scary concept i'm kind of going through that right now with my own brand saint michael i'm deciding do i really want to my trademark didn't go through so i'm still you know working it out it's one of those things again like i said trial and error saint michael is a very generic name let's be honest yeah you want to come up with that name and you want to look on the trademark database and see does anyone have that name are you good to go then you want to make sure obviously you can get the social handles for it you know instagram twitter facebook you might not need all those you really just need to get good at one platform and then you can kind of extend out from that but i'm just saying to make things simpler you just want that name that you can trademark you know it's yours and that's it, it's official. Then you wanna decide, okay, what direction do you wanna go with this brand? Do you want cut and sew? Do you want screen printing? Do you wanna import it? Do you want it exported? Do you want everything made in the US? That's what I mean by that. Do you want it in the US? Do you want it outsourced? Maybe you're in another country, same thing applies. Do you want it in where you live, Japan? Or do you wanna get your stuff made in the US? Which would be weird, but you know, maybe you wanna do that. It's just something to consider, and then obviously there's a bunch of different types of garments that you need to learn about, you know, fashion is really tough. It is. And maybe you have an eye for it. I don't specifically have that eye. It's a work in progress for me. I just wanted something that was great quality and that I created, you know. Like my biggest thing was I was tired of buying Nike stuff and it would like shrink on me. I wanted stuff that was great quality, mid-tier pricing and something, it's like a part of me. Like every time someone buys my brand or my merchandise, that's like a part of me. I want the process to be smooth. I want the quality to be great. So that's like my direction. So I'm telling you, this is what you need to figure out for yourself. Now, you're starting from scratch. You got the name, you, you know, you got the trademark maybe. How do you market? How do you start? Where do you go? My biggest advice is to always Google a local screen printer. You know, basically everyone starts out with some simple tees. Maybe you're using an all style. There's just so much, right? Like you have to learn about different blanks. You gotta find the wholesaling sites. Just starting from scratch, this stuff can get so like overwhelming. So I want you guys to like jot this stuff down if you're really serious about it. You got it. the name. You got the sites, everything, the social media, whatever, you got it. Now you need to find a designer, right? How do you, maybe you know design, maybe you already have your design, but that's another thing. People keep asking me, yo, Mike, where do I find someone that can design my art? Well, you can type in hashtags on Instagram, look for different designers. Sometimes they might overcharge you, so be on the lookout for that. I would say look at something like Pfeiffer.com. Uh, they have tons of different graphic designers. You pay them like $5 and they'll create for you. And that's a start. Or you can learn it yourself. I'm still in the process of learning my own art, but I do have a homie that helps me a lot. Oh, you have the design, what do you do? You Google screen printing companies and embroidery companies within your area. You live in Wisconsin. 
Go on Google, type in screen printer near me. You reach out to every single one of those screen printers and say, hey, this is what I wanna make, how much is it gonna cost me? Start with a sample. Now the hard thing about these screen printers and embroidery places, a sample is pretty expensive, but you know that's just the way it goes. Like it's a lot of trial and error and kind of learning what you like. You can go into their facility, see if they have any blanks, and you know you can fill the different blanks and say, oh man, I like this one, how much is this? I don't really like this one, the quality isn't what I want. A lot of people try to be a perfectionist when it comes to creating a brand or really creating anything. You want it to just be so perfect. But then you want it so perfect that you never end up starting, so the idea just goes to waste. Trial and error, guys. Like, that's really what it is. And that is like the simplest way to start your brand. You know, you come up with the name, come up with the trademark, get the design, take it to a screen printer, get the t-shirt made, and then, you know, you can get into creating a website, all that good stuff. I can go more in depth with that, but I'm just trying to tell you guys how to start from scratch. You know, just initially, what is gonna, what, what's gonna happen in this process? It's tough, you know, selling tees is really not that easy. And if you have no money at all, you can start with something like Shopify.com, create a website, and use like a service like Printful. Printful, for example, they will, you're kind of the middleman. You create the website, you give them the designs, people buy, and you don't touch anything. You don't have any inventory, you don't gotta fill any type of garments. Someone just buys your shirt for $20. Printful will make that shirt on demand, ship it out. You don't even have to touch it. You don't ever see the t-shirt. You just know what the design is. And then you get commission, whatever that is. Whatever you mark it up. It could be 10%, it could be five, 10, $11. I don't know. It just really depends on what you're going with specifically. And to me, that's more of like the merchy stuff. You know, like if you're, you got some merch, but if you want like a real brand, you, you need to learn about garments. You need to learn about designing your only as strong as your weakest link. But sometimes that's what it takes. You use Printful until you save up enough money to go buy a bunch of tees, maybe even a heat press where you can heat press your design onto t-shirts. There's so many different avenues of creating clothing and I can go down all those different lanes. I just really wanted to get to the basis of starting a clothing brand because maybe I didn't cover that enough in the last video and that's my bad. So that's why I'm kind of making this newest video just to Put the seed back in your mind on what it takes. And then as we get more advanced, obviously there's heavier garments, there's outsourcing, there's finding different connections overseas, maybe even finding suppliers within your state and them specifically cutting fabrics for you, putting it together. I'll give you guys some examples of like outsourced, insourced, well, there's not really, a, I don't think insourced is a word, but here's a cut and sew. This was actually my first release now the reason I went with Cut and Sew is because I had been doing this for a long time. I didn't really want my brand to be merchy. I wanted it to be unique. So I got this entire hoodie was all cut and sewn together. This isn't a blank. Uh, embroidery on the front. We have the 3M angels on the side. And you know, a decent design, nice hoodie, lasts really well. I've had this for quite a while, washed it a few times and it's still very solid. The fit ended up being perfect. And that's an example of something that is outsourced. And then we'll go with another outsourced item, another cut and sew hoodie that I have right here. You got the nice embroidery on the front. This is a really nice hoodie. I should have released this one in this brown color. It's nice. Only problem was I got this done in China and the sizing is just too tight, like damn. And that's the problem with China. Sometimes if you don't give them the right sizing charts, which is super hard to find like a specific one, but you can go on Google and type in sizing charts and send that to them. They'll give you these damn like super small, nobody can fit in these hoodies. So it's another thing to consider when outsourcing. It takes a while to get the sample and it is a lot of trial and error. You know, I try to do denim, been a very tough process, but that's what it is. You know, you gotta find the right sizing and it just cost a lot of money. Now my newest collection, everything was all made within the US. Uh, this is just DTG, direct to garment printing on it. Uh, you have this really nice heavyweight crew neck and I'm happy with this. I did a low inventory, not very many hoodies. Went to a screen printing shop that I've been working with and they handled it. Everything was made in the US. I didn't have to worry about ship times or things not getting to me or communication being wrong. Super simple. Brands that are just starting out, I highly recommend really just starting within your state, you know, don't outsource or anything like that. Just try to figure out the basics before you get into the advanced stuff. So I really hope this video helped you. It's like, that's the basics and it's super important to know everything starts with foundation. It's literally brick by brick building a house. I wanna continue this series through the next few months. 
So I'd love for you guys to ask questions. Like I said, this is a very basic essentials video. I didn't talk about how to build a website. I didn't talk about marketing. I didn't get into any of that. I'm just telling you guys the basics on how to start, uh, just some things that I would recommend doing first. And I always recommend like low inventory. Don't have a hundred pieces because damn, it's hard selling one unless you have a big platform. You know, luckily for me, I had a bunch of you guys or followers, subscribers that bought and trusted in my product. But not everybody has that. When you're starting from scratch, it's not that easy. I, I couldn't just say, oh, I'm gonna design this t-shirt, put it on a site and it's gonna sell. You know, there's a lot more that goes into it and it's, it's not easy by any means, but it's definitely possible. So we'll go over the points one more time. Trademark, get all your social media accounts, make sure you test out different blanks, find local screen printers, start with low inventory. If you have no money whatsoever, just come up with a design, create a Shopify, use Printful. And to me, those are literally the basics. I know you guys have been digging this series, so make sure you hit that thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And leave those comments down below so I can continue this series to the next. You know, we'll start with the basics. We'll get into the intermediate and we'll just keep going. I don't know everything, bro. I am not like the master of clothing. I'm learning just like everyone else, but I'd love to teach you guys the process as I learn it. There's no like magical plugs or sourcing it's just kind of, you figure it out as you go. But shameless plug, if you guys wanna check out my brand, St. Michael, the link will be down below in the description. Or if you guys just wanna subscribe for more clothing videos, by all means, do your thing. It's your boy Sneaker Life. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Run it.